Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. So I have received some requests from the viewers of the channel to explain a little bit more how to extract uh, the position of, of the points that you might have on your screen that define the bathymetry. So once you have the results from your, from, from your bathymetric survey, let's say, or if you have digitized the bathymetry manually, like defining the, the different points on the screen. Uh, the, the process is, is fairly simple, to be honest. Uh, bear in mind that this process works in uh, AutoCAD 2024, so I'm not completely sure if this will work in earlier versions of AutoCAD, but I'm pretty sure there will be a similar process if this wasn't available in, in, don't know, AutoCAD 2019 or something. So essentially, I know you can see on the screen, we have just some random points that I have drawn just for this example, just bear in mind again. Your points will need to be georeferenced uh, like the rest of the information that you're working with. Uh, for this example, I'm not caring very much about what this reference or anything or just some random points but again keep in mind your points should be in the same reference system as the ones that you have used for the whole project anyway so those are the points then you're going to need to select the points obviously your cloud of points is going to be a lot bigger than this but the process is the same you're going to type data extraction uh, you're going to select this create a new data extraction fine then it's asking you for a file there's just just, just define a just create a file save you want to replace it yes now it says what do you want to extract to that file. So what I want is essentially is I will select the points that I want. You can do the same, just select all the points that you have or if all the points in on the screen or in this file are the ones that you need, then you should select the first option. So I select, press enter, that's it. You see, if you select this first option, then what's going to do is to use all the information in this uh, file. Fine, we're going to press next, then fine, it, it has detected there are some points, perfect. Now, you can extract a lot of information uh, from those points, from the author of this document, to the color, to comments, files, created, name, absolutely loads of information, but we are only interested in this position x y and z right we are not interested in any of these things so you can do one by one but it's a lot easier if you can just select and un or unselect this if you just leave geometry it will leave these two, three selected that's fine next then it gives you a summary of the position of the points the, the coordinates right so those are my coordinates in this random uh, system that i selected and the depth uh, you can when you extracting the points you can select what you want in that file so for instance i don't really need this column that says point i don't care do i need a, how many points not really for my file combine identical rows no i'm gonna leave it like this so for this uh, i'll just have my file as I want it, then I select next, then you have to select this option output data to external file in CSV. CSV is a file format that separates the, the values by commas and that's the way Mike reads the file when it's separated by commas so you have to do this. By default I think it selects XLS which is a Excel Microsoft Excel file no, you want to change that. Uh, 
and and just save it in CSV. So you save it. Well, I already have a file. I'm going to replace it, but that's fine. Then click next, finish, and now if I open uh, Excel. Then, if I open that file, which is this one, you will see that this is it, X, Y, and Z. Uh, for the sake of my understanding the file, I recommend you to delete this first row and then save. And that will be your file that you can use in in Mac 21. I hope this clarifies uh, how to how to extract those points to to be able to use them in, in Mac 21. And thanks again for watching. Bye.